York's classic rock, Q1043. Bob. Hello. Hey, Jim Kerr. Hello, look Shelly those, Sunstein. Look at, Hello. Those, look at those headphones. Those oh, yeah. are so old school. That's because I'm old school. <laughs> Let's see. Are, are they you know, are they are they cost pro four double A's? They are. They are. Yeah. And and here's the mistake that they made back in the early 80s. They put a lifetime guarantee on them. So I bought three of them back then for one hundred dollars each. Mm -hmm. And these are the same three. But I send them back to cost every two years to get completely redone. So my hundred dollars in the early 80s has literally bankrupt cost <laughs> <laughs> smart man uh, bob buckman is with us here this morning at q104.3 uh bob was uh our predecessor one of our predecessors as morning show host here at the q and a very successful one and bob was also program director of q104.3 which means boss of us boss of the djs and he <laughs> now lives in uh california where the sun shines all the time and uh, which is an odd place for a, a Long Islander to end up. But that's that's where he is. He's driving around in his convertible all the time with his hot blonde wife sitting next to him and the radio, you know, all the way up to 11. So how are you, Bob? I am good, guys. It's great to see you both. Uh, congratulations to you. You're a big part of uh, the 25 years of Q104.3. And we celebrate that 25th anniversary today. I heard you were doing that, and uh, I'm so glad you included me. Um, I'm so proud of you guys, what you continue to do, knocking it out of the park. Well, oh, thank you, you. when you came to the queue, uh, tell us about your experiences. Give us a, a, a queue memory that uh, will stay with you forever. Well, I can just tell you that it was my dream after 20 years of, of doing radio on Long Island that... Uh, I could end up in the same area as my heroes that I listened to on the radio were, you know, the Don Imuses, the Dan Ingrams, right in Rockefeller Center. And so just as WNEWFM was saying, New York can't support a rock station any longer, and we're going away because New York won't have it. I knew that was wrong, and uh, the stars aligned. I got to actually join Q104 at a time when there was no other rock station in New York except Q. And I knew that it could be really an incredible radio station uh, if the right stuff was done. And so, uh, yeah, it was a dream to, to get that gig. And well, you were not only the program director, you were the morning show host. You were, you, you had this job. That's right. I was as crazy as you getting up at this crazy hour, but uh, when I, you know, it was a dream, Jim, you know, the New York metropolitan area, you know, my dream and your dream were very similar. Mm -hmm. And mine as well. Bob, what was your best moment at Q? It's hard to say, Shelley. I, I've, and I've said this to Jim in the past, but one of my best moments was hiring you guys. Aww. I mean, truth, truthfully, because I grew up listening to you, not because you're old, but because you started so young and you were the perfect fit for the radio station that would lead, you know, New York City in rock. Um, you know, WPLJ, your old home had gone away from rock. And, and as I said, WNEWFM gave up the ghost. And so I knew you guys were the right way for New Yorkers to start their day. That's one of my top, top uh, memories. Well, you know, that's an unusual situation, Bob, because you were the program director. You were the boss at the radio station. And in, in a sense, you hired us to replace you. Yeah. <laughs> How weird is that? And no, it was great. It was great. You, you know, because you you were you had done a very good job as the morning show host. I remember when you began uh, your stint here at the queue in the morning. I remember uh, being very, quite frankly, depressed about about your success because you were doing so well. <laughs> nope. And I thought, well, if they're doing so well with Bob, you know, then I, I, I'll never have a shot. I'll never end up there. You know, um, but you're the one that brought us in. 
I did. And, 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 you know, I, I was really able to do a good job because of some of my uh, mentors and you guys didn't know it, but you were my morning mentors. You were among them uh, as, as, you know, heroes in the morning across town back in the rock days at WPLJ. And so, you know, I just knew it. I mean, it, it didn't, it wasn't rocket science. You were the perfect guys to do this. We ask Q listeners to share their Q memories with us. And we have one here from Dennis Gear, who lives in Bloomingdale, New Jersey. And this is what Dennis wrote. After hearing Bob Buckman speak about the first night of Billy Joel's The Last Play at Shea and all of the many guests that appeared at the concert, he mentioned that a really special guest was going to appear on the next night. I had a feeling it was going to be Paul McCartney. Being a Beatles fan, I wanted to do something special. So I found an old photo of a banner that was hung in 1966 when the Beatles visited Shea the second time. So I recreated that banner, which read, Paul is all. Well, Paul did appear at the concert, which was filmed for DVD, and the banner made its way into the movie. Isn't thank, that great? Thank you, Bob Buckman <laughs> and Q104.3. Oh, that's, that's really great. Thank you for letting me know about that, Jim. That's really special, really special. And, you know, I think that was, um, what, what year was that? Do you remember? Was it, it was the late, gosh, I'm trying to remember when that was, but I have, I, I actually, that was the last play at Shea, wasn't it? Uh-huh. So I left Q shortly after that. And I remember when Billy Joel heard that I was leaving, he invited me to his house to do my last Q104 radio show uh, and talked all about the surprise that was Paul McCartney that night. Mm -hmm. So that one must have been one of the highlights, not only of 2008 for you, but for your whole life. It's true. Absolutely right. Absolutely. And, and you know, every time I, I have the uh, opportunity and the privilege of speaking with Billy Joel, your name always comes up. Well, that's nice. I hope there's some good good in that. <laughs> well, uh, Billy Joel and Q104.3 raised a lot of money for charity together, and you were a big part of that. And uh, you shared the stage with Billy Joel at Madison Square Garden. And, uh, you know, I, I see pictures of you on the Billy Joel stage uh, these days, and I'm like, that's awesome. We're just just such a great, uh, you know, I'm, I could, I mean, if it had to be somebody besides me, it better be Jim Kerr. <laughs> well, uh, I can speak on behalf of both of us, of Shelly and of myself, Bob Thank you for hiring us. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And Bob, a special thank you from me because you named Sunstein Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you have to, you know, figure out a name for a public service show on a Sunday morning. And, and it just won its third Gracie Award, Bob. Oh, yes. my gosh. That, that's <laughs> congratulations, Shelley. Thank you, Bob. But you named it. And it's such a perfect name. S Sunstein Sunday. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Bob Buckman. We really do appreciate your spending time with us as we celebrate 25 years of classic rock on Q104.3. Congratulations, guys. So how's the job going, Bob? Oh, it's great. Um, <clears throat> it's terrific. You know, it's just a lot of work. Um, you have How many channels do you have now? Two, but then I do pop-ups also. So, okay. you know, yeah, all those all those special artist things. Yeah. yeah. So and, you know, the chairman of the kind of Scott Greenstein just just uh, auctioned off a channel to the highest bidder at some charity thing. So mm. I have a 30 day pop up channel run by a listener to construct <laughs> to construct run by like, a rich listener <laughs> run by a rich listener yeah yes. that's right that's what we said we said we hope that the guy donated a lot of money to get a channel for a, mm. a month but uh, yeah so <clears throat> that's the thing a lot of work but they're letting me work from home uh for a while longer and then uh come uh labor day we'll find out <clears throat> you know uh how often we have to be in la mm -hmm. I, well, I, but I like I'm in San Diego, as you know, so right. I, I'm loving life. Yeah. Yeah. What part of San Diego? So Oceanside, which is right in the northernmost part. Yeah, I know where that is, because, yeah. you know, my son's place is in Mission Beach. 
Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So he's, he, and when are you going to come visit him? Uh, well, it's been a weird year and a half. That's right. What that's can right. I say? He's going to be right. here. He's going to be here in about a week. Oh, good. Uh, so well, it, listen, you know, before, if, before, if, before if, we, if, if it ever becomes, you yeah. know, uh, if, if it, if it fits someday, uh, cause it's been a long time. Tell, uh, Scott Greenstein that I said, hi. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I Absolutely. Used, to, used to see him all the time. Yeah. I liked him. Nice guy. Yeah. And he's a young guy. That is a power mogul. That guy. He's just, I mean, well, yeah. that's why they hired him. They hired a Hollywood type guy instead exactly. of, instead of one of our traditional radio type guys. I'll never forget. It was uh, early 2000s when we hired, uh, when we hired, when we engaged little Steven for the underground garage. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, we were, he and I were at a party and he said to me, here's a guy you need to meet. And mm -hmm. he said, you need to meet. And he was very specific in the way he delivered that. And it was Scott Greenstein. And I had no, I had no idea, you know, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he was right. And Scott made it happen for him. And who would think 20 years later, Scott would, you know, make it happen for me. Okay, Bob, I'll talk Bob, to you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Awesome guys. And thank you for this. And okay. uh, I will see you both in uh, December when I come visit. All right. Nice. New York's classic rock. Q1043.